Hey kinesiology students, this is Coach Harvey. I'm going to show you just a few quick things to help you get started on nutrition lab number three. This lab is designed to use what you learned in the calorie ratio lesson and connect it to how we create nutrition plans for athletes. First, when you open the online version of the lab from Google Docs, you'll notice that there are some changes compared to what's in your kinesiology binder. Most of these changes are designed to make the directions easier to read, so you can do the lab remotely on your own. None of the question content has changed, and you'll find that they are the same as the lab in your binder. While you'll be entering and submitting your work on the Google Doc, it will help a lot to have the paper in front of you, as it will be handy for doing scratch work. But if you don't have your binder, don't worry. Everything you need is here. The lab uses a website called nutritiondata.com. This website was created by a major magazine publisher, which draws all its information from the USDA's national database. The database stores the nutritional information for thousands of foods commonly sold throughout the United States, including, as you'll see, many fast food chains. We could use the USDA's website, but for now, we'll stick with nutritiondata.com. Let's get started on the lab. First, you're going to want to highlight this part and type your name in here. You don't need to put your period in there, but you can if you want. Next, you'll notice that some of the questions have been modified with gray highlight. These are questions that we're going to skip. This is so that we can make things easier for you guys to work this out remotely on your own. So we're gonna skip down to page two. To practice using the website, this first problem has us look at a slice of pepperoni pizza from Pizza Hut. You'll use the information from the website to fill in the boxes you see here on the table. Getting this information is simple. On nutritiondata.com, I'm first going to enter pepperoni pizza. In the food categories dropdown, I'm going to find foods from Pizza Hut and click search. On the results page, you'll see several options. The lab directs us to choose the first option, hand-toss style pizza. Now we're on the results page. This has information similar to a nutrition label and more. We want to analyze one slice of pizza. One medium slice should be the default serving size, but check to make sure it's selected. We're going to scroll down to find information like the calorie content, the amount of proteins and carbs, just like we would on a regular nutrition label. Use this information to fill in the table on page two of the lab. When entering your information, it's best just to type your answers in rather than copying and pasting, as this will save you problems that come from the styles used on websites. Once we finish problem two, we'll skip question 11 and go down to problem three. This problem asks us to look for a food on the website that contains at least one gram of all three energy nutrients, carbs, fats, and proteins. To do that, we're going to go to the menu at the top of the website, click on Tools, and then go to Nutrient Search Tool. And we'll use this tool to find a food that has all of our energy-containing nutrients. You'll likely get a lot of results. Feel free to choose from any one of the categories that looks interesting. I found a spaghetti that has all three nutrients, proteins, carbs, and fats. Enter the information in the boxes for problem three. Then on the next page, you'll calculate the calorie ratio for that same food. Problem four provides some information for calculating the calorie ratio for an entire meal. The steps are the same as for one food item, you just have to add all the numbers up for all the items. Be careful on this problem. There's a clue that's easily missed. By the way, you won't need the website for this one, as all the information you need is provided in these tables. Lastly, in problem five, you'll be planning a breakfast meal for an athlete. This one has the most instructions, so read carefully. There's some color coding to help. You can also work on this problem with a partner if you wish. 
just include their name on the last page. And that's it. If you need help, post a question to the comments section of your Google Classroom and someone will answer. I'll be checking in there as well to provide help. Happy nutrition planning.